Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey with the Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. The uh, dynamics of this uh, currency pair, pretty pretty unique, actually. I, don't, I, don't know that, I don't, can't recall something uh, seeing something like this, but you see this uh, sharp move to the downside through here. Uh, this uh, move to the downside took the high price from about 0 0.6899 down to a low of 0 0.65. Uh, 946 and then we saw a uh, you know a correction here move back to the downside where we tested these lows through here and we then we saw a sharp move to the upside now that move to the upside came uh, just short of the high price here by about five pips and this low price right here was short of the low price by about well five pips and so uh, what we're seeing here is the retracement levels being exactly uh, at the same levels or areas uh, that then uh, on each of the moves. So we have a Fibonacci retrace from here to here, Fibonacci retrace from here to here. The 38.2% retracement of this move to the upside is equi equal to 61.8% of this move to the downside. The 50% is spot on at 0 0.6746. And the uh, here it shows a 61.8% retracement, but behind that is a 38.2% retracement of this move to the downside so uh it's it's symmetrical it's uh, very um uh, looks you know sort of the same uh with the retracement levels being the same on the way to the downside as they are to the upside but just different numbers except for the 50 percent retracement makes sense hope so uh anyway the the uh, move to the downside today has seen the price move uh, below the uh, uh, 100 hour moving average uh, here on the break. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, break break did not uh, develop any further uh, momentum down toward the 38.2 slash 61.8% target down here. Uh, or these lows right here, we found early buyers against that level. And we're seeing a rotation back to the upside. It would take a move back below that level uh, and below this area right here to increase the bearish bias. It's hard to do that when the market trends like it like it has over the last week or so of trading. Uh, oftentimes the price comes down to that 100 hour moving average. And instead of finding sellers on a break, uh, this is still moving to the upside. We find uh, the, the temptation to buy the dip uh, because of this move to the upside. So I'm not surprised that we're seeing a rotation back to the upside. I'm not surprised that we couldn't get below the 38.2% retracement on the first move to the downside. But going forward, uh, you know, we may see some uh, up and down price action uh, that may see may uh, allow for this uh, 100 hour moving average to kind of slow its uh, move to the upside and see um, see a more of a flattening going forward uh, which may allow for a break ultimately uh, to the downside so we'll still be watching that level look for momentum on a break but wouldn't be surprised to see a rotation back to the upside uh, that rotation i just put in a horizontal line here uh, that uh, horizontal line uh, reflects uh, this uh, swing swing eyes through here we broke above it moved to new session highs and then came down retested this area right through here uh, before breaking below that level and rotating to the downside through here uh, on the way higher we broke above that level came off the level and then re-established support here before moving higher and in trading on uh, friday and again today in the early asian session the price did find uh, trade above that below that level before finding sellers against that level so this would be uh, a resistance level on the top side of 0.68 Three five two level. If we move up to that level, we could see some uh, trading trading sideways. If we move above that level, that would be more uh, bullish here uh, for this uh, currency pair, at least in the short term. So there you have it. A look at a very sym symmetrical uh, Aussie versus U.S. dollar hourly chart. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye bye now.